Hey guys, welcome back to the Moxie Gen. I hope you've been really enjoying the channels. I'm having a great time. And if you do, please subscribe down below. Um, it's always awesome if you guys uh, leave a couple comments and let me know how I'm doing, uh, what topics you wanna discuss and whatnot. So today's topic, we're gonna be talking about traveling and not so much about traveling itself, but I highly recommend that if you have a chance to travel, please do so. It's something that I tell all my friends that traveling is probably for me my my greatest satisfaction in my life it's i find it that it's the most gratifying part of of being a human once you travel and you come back from wherever you go you learn so much about who you are and how your life is compared to how others live and it's something that is really near and dear to me and i highly recommend that everybody get a chance to travel as much as possible because at the end of the day that's the memories that you're going to take with you are the most important things that's what we're about here at the moxie gen it's more about being the best version of yourself and also inspiring others throughout the world so with that being said today it's going to be a little bit long we're going to be discussing about 15 things that everybody should have when they're preparing for traveling so it's just about tips and actually i um i wrote it down or i typed it out uh just so that I wouldn't forget any of these things. And I highly recommend that you also type out a list of the things that you want to take with you. So let's get into it, guys. Okay, guys, so now we have all our stuff. Now, I know that, you know, it just depends on how much time you're going to be traveling, then you actually have to pack accordingly. But I usually t try to pack light. I use this backpack. This is, uh, Cotopaxi is a brand that, uh, they're a startup, they've been doing amazing stuff. They're kind of like Patagonia, but like the new generation. It's amazing, like I, I just travel with this sucker all over the place. Uh, I just got back from South America and it was amazing. Um, again, it's not for really, really long periods of time. Uh, it can last you about possibly, I'd say about a week's worth of clothes. If you're smart enough, you know, you kind of improvise, you are gonna probably do some laundry along the way, but it'll last you a while. You can backpack through this sucker, um, maybe even more than a week, but at least for a week is, I think it's a great, um, it's a great size backpack. So. You need a backpack, that's number one. Uh, number two is your passport. Now guys, that's obvious. The one thing that I wanna give you as a tip is that you wanna get a photocopy and travel with the photocopy as well because you don't wanna lose this. But if you do, then it's gonna be, it's gonna really just ruin your, your um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say relationship, no. It's gonna ruin your vacation. One other tip is that photocopy that you make send that to your inbox again you might lose it and it's always nice to have a backup trust me it's it does come in handy sometimes you don't want to leave the hotel or uh wherever you're staying with your passport so you just travel with the photocopy so that's a, a good little tip right there uh number three is meds um guys i mean it's we all get sick <laughs> it's kind of crazy but i just put together a bunch of meds i get uh, pain meds, stomach meds, and antibiotics. Again, antibiotics is big, guys, because if you get sick uh, and you don't have antibiotics, then it'll ruin your um, vacation. Travel with those, those are awesome. And um, on to number four is a universal converter. So this sucker has really helped me out a lot of times because again, you wanna charge your phone or your laptop or your iPad or whatever. And you know, lo and behold, we're in a different country, different wattage and different outlets. So. This little sucker I got for like, I think 15 bucks. You can pick it up at any uh, travel store or um, big box retail. But really do get one of these though because they are awesome and they will come in handy. Not all hotels have converters, so travel with this. Number five is an extra battery again, because we're gonna be taking a bunch of pictures. I hope you're taking a bunch of pictures and your juice is gonna be running out. So I just travel with the small little battery. This will last me about one charge. Um, and it's a godsend. So I really recommend you having an extra battery. Lonely Planet. So, Lonely Planet, here's a little thing. This is my Bible. I've been traveling with Lonely Planet guidebooks uh, at least about 15 years, and um, I just can't say enough about these guys. This is kind of the one book that I always kind of go to when I'm traveling, and they have great recommendations. It's just absolutely like a Bible for anybody who's traveled. If anybody's know about Lonely Planet, then you'll understand and you'll sympathize with me. Pick up a copy of the place where you're going, 
Uh, they usually have pretty much every part of the world and it's really cool. They got great, great recommendations. Kind of separated the places that I wanted to go so I can have easy access. That's another little tip. Highly recommend Lonely Planet uh, for your guidebook. Okay, number seven is a money belt. Um, I travel every once in a while with money belts, depending on where I'm going. Um, it's just safe. It's a good traveling tip because you don't want to get, there's a lot of pickpockets sometimes <gasps> where you're traveling. And so you can travel with some sensitive documents here, like your passport or some sort of um, visa or whatever you, you need uh, to enter the country and the, the money. Usually it used to be about traveler's checks, but that's, you know, that's kind of old school. Uh, you can just go to pretty much any ATM and they'll give you the exchange rate of the day or you'll go to an exchange house. But you're still gonna have to be carrying around cash because cash is king anywhere. You don't wanna be a target, so a money belt is always good. Number eight, a great pair of walking shoes. Now, this is something that I highly recommend because if you're gonna be traveling, you kinda need some versatile shoes. I actually bought these Echoes and I was gonna do a review on them, but they didn't come on time. But now I can do one really quick. These Echoes are amazing. They're super versatile. I use them in South America and I absolutely love them. They were my go-to because I had business meetings, but then I also had some recreational things to do and they were awesome. They were super comfortable, lasted all day, and you can use these for like recreational activities, but also a little bit more formal stuff if you have like a dinner or something. That's really important. Socks, again, you would need that as well. Um, and so now going on to a dress shirt. Now I actually have one right here. Just for demonstration purposes, just a dress shirt, okay? Why a dress shirt? and why some dress pants, which would be the next one, is because sometimes you end up going to a nice dinner with you or your girl or the people that you're going with, and you don't, you're just wearing jeans and sneakers. So it's always kind of nice to have at least one pair of uh, dress pants and a dress shirt, just in case you have a nice dinner that you want to go to and you don't have anything. That's something that I travel with always. Number 11 here is pack light. You want to pack light, but at the same time, you also want to be able to have all your, your ground covered. That being said, if you pack light, then you're going to want to go with some detergent. Detergent and packing light go hand in hand though, because you're going to probably have to wash at least once if you're traveling more than 10 days, your underwear, you know what I mean? That's something that you want to travel with. And if you want, you can get, you can travel with travel underwear. There's a company called Saks and I absolutely love them because they're quick dry, they last a long time, and they really, really are um, awesome. Now, number 12 is a Kindle. So the reason why I travel with the Kindle is because I love to read, but I also love to buy chunky books. And that really sucks though, because you're gonna be traveling, you're gonna be carrying everything with you. So instead of this, I got this, and this has been a godsend, um, again, Really nice, really versatile, and in your downtime, it's a great, it's a great thing to use. Plastic bag. I get a plastic bag. Again, it's for the dirty clothes, so you're able to separate dirty clothes or shoes as well, and you don't have to be um, kind of wondering what is dirty, what's clean. Travel size, everything, guys. So this is great. This is TSA approved, and again, if you're traveling with liquids or whatnot, the best thing that you can do is travel size anything and at pretty much every Rite Aid or Walgreens or Dwayne Reed, you can find these. Shampoo, toothpaste, hairspray, body lotion, you're good to go. This is good though, if you go through customs with your backpack, anything, uh, I think above 100 millimeters, you're going to have to forfeit and that would suck. So make sure that you get travel size TSA approved uh, liquids. And the last but not least, I think I have everything Noise canceling earphones. Guys, uh, sometimes you're gonna get somebody annoying or somebody weird on your flight and you just need to kind of tune out. I don't even know how to tell you how important these things are for me. Like seriously, if I got robbed, I would probably be getting this over my computer because these things are a godsend. They are literally a little slice of heaven and that's what I call them. I don't know if I missed anything, but this is what I travel with most of the time. Um, again, for maybe about a week. So that's it guys. I hope you um, learned a little bit something. Again, this is for about like a week's worth of traveling. If you're gonna be traveling for more time, then obviously you wanna plan accordingly, but however that may be, you still wanna do you know, travel size stuff, your meds, your converter, light shoes, your noise canceling. I mean, you still wanna do all this no matter for how long you're gonna be traveling. I really hope you enjoyed this 
um, vid guys. Um, again, traveling to me is just, again, I, I can't say enough about traveling guys. I really hope you get out there and enjoy the world, go explore, take a bunch of pictures, Instagram the shit out of everything. Thank <laughs> you.